Mom, I can't bear this feeling any longer. I can't keep pretending and ignore what's happening. I can't go on pretending to be in a happy relationship with Harry. I need to cancel my engagement with him. What's going on, Olivia? Why the sudden urge to break off your engagement with Harry? What happened? Just a month ago, you called me ecstatic, talking about how happy you were and how excited you were about the wedding. That was before I discovered the horrifying truth about who Harry really is. Did you know that while he was dating me, he was also seeing and having relationships with multiple other girls? I foolishly believed I could change him, that I could be the one he loved exclusively. But I was so naive. Even after we got engaged, he continued his deceitful ways. He even had the audacity to bring his mistress into our own home for secret rendezvous. What? How do you know all of this? Are you sure it's not just your mind playing tricks on you due to the stress of wedding preparations? No, Mom. This is the cold, harsh truth. Yesterday, when I returned home from the wedding dress rehearsal, I found pink lipstick and, and a red pantyhose lying on the bedroom floor. Those could be yours. Items you forgot about or misplaced. Remember, Harry has lavished you with gifts, expensive clothes, jewelry, and cosmetics. You're incredibly fortunate to have a wealthy fiancé like Harry. Maybe you bought those things and simply haven't used them, so I wasn't aware. That's not possible. I never wear pink lipstick, and I exclusively wear underwear from one specific brand. There's no way I would purchase items I have no use for. Besides, I confronted Harry about it, and he admitted everything. What? Harry confessed? Oh, I was desperately hoping you wouldn't discover any of this. It's all because of those stupid girlfriends of his. What? Mom, what are you saying? Did you know about all of this before? Ah, <sighs> yes, unfortunately. I found out a few weeks ago. I was shopping out when I stumbled upon Harry with another woman. They were behaving intimately, and he showered her with gifts. I confronted them right then and there, and Harry had no choice but to admit his affair. What? So you've known this all along? I can't believe it. You and Harry betrayed me and you expect me to just accept it? How can you do this? Your duty as my mother is to protect me and be honest with me. What's the point of telling you the truth? Hmm? So we can have a big dramatic confrontation and say goodbye to Harry like you're doing now? I'm not foolish enough to let go of a perfect, handsome, powerful, and rich son-in-law like Harry. Besides, Harry promised me a hundred thousand dollars a month to keep quiet about all of this. I can't fathom why his mistress would ruin everything like this. <laughs> Mom, am I hearing you correctly? You're willing to lie to your own daughter for the sake of money? Oh, don't be so harsh. It's not a lie. It's just me looking out for your future. Think about it. Which man doesn't cheat? It's in their nature. Especially exceptional men like Harry. They have the right to have affairs as long as they provide for and take care of you and the family. So think for a moment, Olivia. Harry is just seeking temporary happiness with these lowly girls. In the end, you're the one who gets to live in a luxurious house with endless amounts of money. Isn't that enough to satisfy you? No, Mom. This is far from normal. This is a matter of morals and values. And on top of that, I've discovered that he is incredibly violent. Yesterday, when I confronted him about those suspicious items, his temper flared up. He belittled me, called me an ignorant woman with no right to question him. But I wanted to uncover the truth, so I persisted, and he lashed out, kicking and punching me in the face. My face is bruised, and blood won't stop flowing from my left eye. He even had the audacity to say that if I accepted him as my husband, I had to accept his encounters with other young girls and that I had no right to object because I was nothing more than a parasite. Unbelievable! How dare you question Harry? There's no way someone as composed as Harry would lay a hand on you. It must be your fault, provoking or injuring yourself to falsely accuse Harry. No, Mom! I spoke to him with utmost gentleness and calmness, but suddenly he snapped and violently attacked me. How can you not defend me and instead blame me like this? I am the one who has suffered here. I don't care. I am certain that the fault lies with you. You must find a way to apologize and beg Harry for forgiveness. But why? Why should I endure and apologize to him when he has caused me both mental and physical harm? If this is a merely a loveless marriage of convenience, then I want no part in it. I'm going to call off my engagement with him. You are so foolish. Can't you comprehend the situation? 
It was Harry himself who informed me that he wanted to marry you because you were gentle, dignified, unassuming, and possessed a pretty face. He saw you as the perfect vessel to bear his beautiful and obedient children. Do you truly believe in fairy tales where a prince marries a poor girl and they live happily ever after? Wake up and face reality. Such fantasies never come true. No, it can't be. If that's the case, then I have even more reason to end this marriage. I am going to leave this house and return home. What? I vehemently disagree with you cancelling the marriage. I won't allow you to break off the engagement. I have already announced your wedding to all our relatives, neighbors, and friends. If you suddenly dissolve the marriage, it'll tarnish my reputation. People will claim that I have failed as a mother, unable to control my daughter's actions. I refuse to live with such disgrace. Moreover, if you cancel the marriage now, where will we find the means to survive? I had assumed you would marry Harry, and I even resigned from my job. This house we live in was also purchased by him. If you don't marry Harry, where will we find the money to sustain ourselves? Must I be forced to move away? No, I will never allow that to happen. Mom, we can return to our old house and find a way to support ourselves. I can find a job and we can work together as a family. We don't need to depend on anyone. I said no. Listen carefully. You must proceed with marrying Harry no matter the cost. If you refuse, I will, I will kill myself for you. Even if you decide to leave, this house will no longer welcome you. If you persist in this stubbornness, I will take my own life right in front of you so you understand that your selfishness has driven me to this extreme. Mom, please don't say such things. Don't force me to make this unbearable choice. I don't want you to die, but a lifetime spent with a wretched person like him is akin to living in hell. Please try to understand me. My dear daughter, I know you wouldn't want to lose your mother, right? Moreover, marrying Harry is the dream life of countless girls. Once you're married, you won't have to work or tend to household chores because there will be maids at your disposal. Your sole responsibility will be to bear Harry's beautiful and obedient children and then revel in the days that follow. Listen to me, Olivia. Marry Harry and pretend that nothing has happened. That is the best outcome for all of us. I need time to think about this, Mom. I'll talk to you later. Mom, I can't endure this any longer. The constant disdain and disrespect from Harry's family are tearing me apart. Every day they humiliate me, mock me and exclude me from their conversations. They treat me like a servant, like I'm beneath them. It's unbearable, Mom, and it's affecting my self-worth. Olivia, you must understand that in some families, there are always differences and clashes. It's not easy to fit in, especially when you come from a different background. Try to be patient and adapt. Don't let their words affect you so much. No, Mom, it's not just about fitting in. They intentionally belittle and degrade me. They make me feel like nothing, like I don't belong. And it's not just his family. Harry himself has become cruel and heartless. He brings his mistress into our room, parades her right in front of me, and then has the audacity to kick me out of our own bedroom. His attitude has also changed a lot lately. He's often angry and even threatened to hit me. Two days ago, just because I wasn't careful when ironing my shirt and left a wrinkle on my sleeve, he raised his hand to hit me. But I ran out of the room so I was safe. How can I continue living in such a toxic environment? <sighs> Olivia, you're overreacting. Maybe Harry is just going through a rough patch. It doesn't mean he doesn't love you. Marriage is about ups and downs, and you have to learn to weather the storm. I wish I could dismiss it as a misunderstanding, but I've witnessed it firsthand. I can no longer deny the painful truth. Harry has revealed his true colors, and it's evident that he doesn't value me or our relationship. Lately, he's gone through extreme measures, hiring bodyguards to watch the house and prevent me from leaving without his permission. He even monitors my phone regularly. I feel like nothing more than a toy to him, stripped of any freedom or autonomy I once had. Don't think it's too far-fetched. Maybe, maybe Harry just wanted to protect you from all possible harm before the wedding day. Yes, Harry loves you very much. He won't want you to do anything foolish to make you lose the high life you are about to enjoy. No, the only dangerous thing here is Harry. 
I can't continue living in this toxic and abusive environment. I refuse to be trapped in a loveless and harmful marriage. I need to prioritize my safety and well-being. And what do you plan to do? Run away? Leave everything behind? Mom, I have thought about it carefully. I'm going to make an escape plan. I can't stay in this house any longer, and I can't rely on Harry or you for my well-being. This is madness, Olivia. You can't just throw away a comfortable life for some ideals. Think about the future and the security you would have with Harry. You're being naive, Olivia. You have no idea how difficult it will be out there on your own. Mom, I've thought long and hard about this. I can't let fear dictate my life. I'm going to escape from this hellish existence. I'm going to fight for my freedom and happiness. But I can't do it alone. I need your help, Mom. I need you to support me in this decision. Olivia, think about the consequences. If you leave, what will happen to us? How will I survive? We depend on Harry's financial support. Mom, I understand the challenges we'll face, but we can find a way. Together. We'll find jobs. We'll find a place to live. We'll rebuild our lives from scratch if we have to. I can't stay in this abusive relationship and I can't let fear hold me back. I need your strength, Mom. I need you to stand by my side to help me break free. This is madness, Olivia. It's risky and uncertain. I can't bear to see you struggle. Mom, I understand your concerns about the consequences, but I can't let fear control my life anymore. We have each other and together we can overcome any obstacle. I can't continue living in this nightmare. Please, Mom, I'm begging you. Help me escape from this hell. Let's find a way to start anew, to find happiness and peace. Olivia, I've thought about it deeply and I realize that this situation is not right for you. As your mother, it breaks my heart to see you suffer. I will do whatever it takes to help you. Really? Mom? Are you truly going to help me? Yes, Olivia. I'm sorry for any doubts or hesitations I had before. You're my daughter, and I'll always be here for you. I should have protected you from the beginning. I'm here now, and I'll support you wholeheartedly. Thank you, Mom. Your understanding and support mean everything to me. You're my priority, Olivia. Tell me what you need me to do, and I'll do it. We'll create a plan together, step by step, to ensure your escape and create a new life for yourself. I believe we should meet in person to discuss the plan. It's not safe to continue texting as Harry might check my phone. He's coming home from work soon and I'll have to delete all my messages. But since Harry trusts you, can you tell him that you want me to come home? This way he won't send any bodyguards with me. And we can talk without fear of our plans being revealed. Yes, Olivia. I'll text him right away that I want to have a day with you tomorrow. Then you'll be free to come over and we'll talk about the plan. Thank you, Mom. I love you. Olivia, where the hell are you? Why didn't you show up at the designated meeting point? What is going on? Well, 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 Madison. Surprised to see the tables turned? Are you feeling the same deceit and betrayal I've endured all the time? This is just a taste of the cunning and manipulation you've subjected me to. What? What are you saying? Didn't we discuss the plan in detail? You gave me the money, and I would hire a trusted private detective and lawyer to gather evidence of Harry's affair and violence against you. We planned to make him pay a substantial sum of money. Then we were going to arrange for you to bribe the girl trying on the wedding dresses, convincing her to pretend to be the bride while you made your escape. I was going to prepare a plane ticket for you, pick you up at the corner, and take you to the airport. Each successful step was going to be followed by a transfer of $200,000 as a token of gratitude. But now, at the final step, you want to disappear? Oh, Madison, you really think that half-baked plan had any chance of success? I've known from the start that you were setting a trap, hoping to double-cross me and profit from both me and Harry. I saw through your facade. That's absurd. I had no intention of betraying you. We were in this together. Spare me the act. I've seen the evidence of your collusion with Harry. I was fully aware that if I asked you for your help in escaping, you wouldn't miss the opportunity to profit from both Harry and me. And as expected, you struck a deal with him. After our discussion, you conveniently stepped out, claiming to use the bathroom. But who takes their phone to the bathroom? I followed you and overheard your conversation with him, sealing the deal for a hefty sum of money. 
You never intended to help me escape. You were just playing both sides. You... you deceived me? Did you just pretend to trust me and go along with the plan to make me lower my guard? How could you betray me like this? Ugh, oh, spare me the drama. It's your own greed that led you down this path. You wanted my money and Harry's money too, didn't you? Well, thanks to your greed, I now have enough money to escape and start a new life far away from here. What? What money are you talking about? <laughs> Did you forget that the bank account you've been using is actually my supplementary card? Ever since you found out about my relationship with Harry, you made me have an extra bank card so you could spend the money he gave me as well. So all the transactions between you and Harry, including the money I promised you, were being transferred to that account. In reality, that money belonged to me, not you. And to make things clear, I've already locked your supplementary card. What? No way! You can't do this to me! I am your mother! No, you have to come back right now. This wedding can't proceed without the bride. If Harry finds out about this, he'll demand the money back, and I don't have any left. Come back here and obediently be Harry's bride, Olivia. This is an order! But what do I do now? I'm already at the airport and about to board in a few minutes. You're right, having money means having power. What can't be achieved with money can be achieved with a lot of money. I spent a significant amount buying off the bodyguards Harry hired so they would open the back door for me to escape, while he was preoccupied with his mistress last night. Given that Harry treats them poorly, they aren't particularly fond of him and agreed to assist me. Now I'm at the airport, ready to embark on a new life in another country, free from the clutches of a selfish mother and an abusive fiancé. No, Olivia, a wedding cannot proceed without a bride. You must return immediately. I can't let go of a wealthy son-in-law like Harry. Olivia, if you don't come back right away, you won't be my daughter anymore. Oh, Madison, haven't you realized yet? I haven't called you mother at all. That signifies that I've severed all ties with you. Furthermore, if you can't let go of Harry, perhaps you can replace me as the bride. What? How can you propose such a ludicrous idea? I can't. I... I have to find a way out of this. If Harry discovers the truth, he'll surely demand the money be returned. Oh, don't rush things. Stay a little longer, as the real drama is yet to unfold. Drama? What on earth are you talking about? It's nothing important. I simply installed a hidden camera in my bedroom and captured some fascinating videos of your almost beloved son-in-law enjoying himself with the other woman, along with instances of him abusing and berating me. I also have a few pictures of you spending the money you received for selling your daughter on dates with young men, as well as text messages revealing your greed for Harry's wealth. After all, the guests have already arrived. It would be a shame not to provide them with some thrilling entertainment, wouldn't it? You wretched creature! Are you intending to destroy my life? You were the one who mercilessly ruined my life first. I just want you to pay for what you did to me. This is just the beginning. It's not over yet. You have no idea how much money and effort I spend editing those disgusting videos into a masterpiece. I'm sure the hall is about to project the wedding photo video on the big screen by now, right? Huh. <laughs> I suppose the bodyguard I hired is ready to play that video. You think you can outsmart me, Olivia? You're nothing but a naive little girl who doesn't understand the lengths I'll go to protect my interests. You may have some videos and pictures, but do you really think they'll be enough to bring me down? Oh, Madison, you always underestimated me, didn't you? I may be young, but I'm not foolish enough to face you without a plan. I've already made copies of all the evidence I have, and they're securely stored in multiple locations. If anything were to happen to me, those files would be released to the authorities, the media, and anyone who could bring you down. So don't test me. You're bluffing. You wouldn't dare ruin your own mother's life just to get back at me. We're family, Olivia. Think about what you're doing. Family? Is that what you call it? You sold me off to a man like Harry, all for your own greed and desires. You were supposed to protect me, love me, but all you cared about was money and status. Well, now it's my turn to take control of my own life. And if that means tearing down the facade you've built, then so be it. I won't let you destroy me any longer. You're making a grave mistake, Olivia. You have no idea who you're up against. 
I'll make sure you regret this. Mark my words. <laughs> I'm willing to face them head on because living under your control is not a life worth living. I'd rather face the storm and come out stronger on the other side than continue to be a puppet in your twisted game. You'll regret this one day, Olivia. I promise you, your happiness will be short-lived. I'll make sure of it. We'll see, won't we? Goodbye, Madison. From now on, I'm taking control of my own destiny, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. As the video evidence of Harry's affair and abusive behavior played on the big screen, a wave of shock and disbelief swept through the wedding hall. Gasps and murmurs filled the air, followed by furious outbursts from the guests. They couldn't believe the despicable actions of the man they had once admired. Major clients and partners, who had previously been associated with Harry's company, quickly distanced themselves from him. Contract cancellations flooded in, causing the company's reputation to plummet. The stock prices tumbled, and the once thriving business began to crumble under the weight of the scandal. Harry's downfall was swift and severe. The financial losses were overwhelming, leading to the eventual bankruptcy of his company. As all assets were confiscated, including the luxurious house Madison was living in, they were left with nothing. Meanwhile, I wasted no time in taking legal action against Harry for the abuse I had endured, through the evidence I had meticulously gathered. My case was strong. The court ruled in my favor, and Harry was sentenced to five years of imprisonment for his heinous actions. As for Madison, the woman who had orchestrated my misery, her life took a tragic turn. With the bankruptcy of Harry's empire, she found herself penniless and homeless. The lavish lifestyle that she had enjoyed was replaced by destitution, serving as a harsh reminder of the consequences of her greed and betrayal. On the other hand, I embraced my fresh start in a new country. With the money I had obtained from Harry, I made a conscious decision to use it for good. I donated a significant portion to various charities, aiming to uplift the lives of those in need. Determined to create my own success and independence, I set out on a new career path. Through hard work and perseverance, I began to earn my own money, forging a life built on my own terms and free of the clutches of an abusive relationship and toxic family ties. With each passing day, my strength and resilience grew allowing me to leave behind the painful past and embrace a future filled with hope, happiness, and the knowledge that I had overcome tremendous challenges.